Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel as we have game three of the conference finals here with the surge and torpedoes. So this is game three of a best of five series. It's been a few weeks since I uploaded this series. I've just been busy with RCW lately that I haven't really gotten a chance to really sit down and record this series. Now I'm finally back in as we have Luna leading off the first inning most likely she always like she always is and unfortunately just a simple ground out there Carson Pittman has been on a roll here 538 average the series I believe is tied 1-1 now as Carson Pittman looks at two strikes here 2-2 two -two with one down swinging right through for strike three is Carson Pittman and the Torpedoes got a good start here. Now Jordan able to get on pace with a single there. As the Surge look for their first championship under the new name. Jordan getting in there safely at second after stealing that. Ball number two there. Now works at 2-1. 3-1, Jason Daniels here, 400 average. Trying to keep Jordan there at second. And Jason Daniels gets a little grounder, gets it through there as runners at the corners now. Now David Hazard. He's been very special for us. I got to edit some of these cleats here on the team here. A lot of these colors don't match. Runners at the corners now. David Hazard looking at two strikes here. Can't be too picky anymore. One, two. Swinging that foul. Tipped off the bat. And they're keeping track of Jason Daniels. Over at first, and David Hazard busts the bat. Out of frustration there. And Jay Jackson, JJ. Trying to get a better chance here. He's at a 12 ERA and that's just absolutely abysmal. He hasn't done well at all here in the playoffs this season. So he's looking to change his luck a little bit as Jason Daniels corrals that one for the first out. Now like I said, we're, we're looking to see better production out of J.J. Hopefully we can. As right through the middle, Jordan's able to get that. That's a single. Double play in effect now. As Angelina Turner. Steps up the bat. Now, JJ having a hard time finding the zone here. Or maybe the umps being a little tough with some of these calls. Gets a good swing and a miss for strike two. Down in there and can't get it. Little inside and got it. JJ with a strike out there. Now curveball in there for strike one now. And propped up there. Just a little blooper. Near the foul line and Ash Cabrera able to Corral that. Runners on base now. Look at that. Carson Pittman jumping up for that. The hitman making a play there. Nope, that's outside. Could it? He probably saved a run there. And a quick first out here is Ash Cabrera. Steps up to the plate. Asher now. Two strikes looking at. They need to make this pitcher work a little bit more here. Nope, that's Asher has looked at three straight balls. And walked. That was just ugly there for the Torpedoes. They had Asher right where they wanted him. and Couldn't get him there. Asher on base there. And 
Ball high. Asher Cabrera gets in there at second. Negates the double play. Which is nice here for Owen Davis. Owen Davis, also a speedster. He doesn't need much to get on base. Decent hit here would be nice considering he hasn't played yet in the playoffs. Popped up. Routine play from the catcher. Nice pitch from the pitcher there to get the pop-up. And Luis Santos has done pretty well as that's a fair ball down the line and steps on the bag for the out. Nothing special. It's been a stalemate of offense here. And look at that. That's a high flyer. But Jordan going to get that one. And luckily that was all she wrote for that one. Hit blooped up right up the middle there, and Jay Jackson allowing some hits here. He's not like all our other starters where, you know, he's able to get the strikeouts that he needs, and that's... That's corralled, and... Jordan trying to make one home, and that's not going to happen as Jay allows his first run. And that may be foul. Yes, it will. It will make it to the seats. Blooped in. Owen Davis corrals that one for the second out. Jay just trying to get out of this jam here with just one run crossing. Able to get two strike count. That's what you like to see from Jay. Down in a changeup. Fouled off. Jay still staying in this one. And Jay goes back to that fastball there and gets it. Luna top of the order now. And they don't want to pitch to her, and I understand why. She's been a menace here in the playoffs with two home runs, six RBIs, and almost a 600 average. And they will walk her. And Carson Pittman, the hitman, on base here. As Luna takes off, safe. No double play. Carson Pittman looking at strike two. Nope. Inside. Looked at a ball. Carson Pittman being very patient here. That's what the Surge are known for. Being very patient at the plate. And they give a rough time to the pitchers. And that's beautifully hit. Runners at the corners now. Carson he may have the speed to get there, will he? Yes. Double play negated as well. Popped up. Does it make it to the seats? No, it won't. Jordan just popped up there. One down now. Jason Daniels has an opportunity for a ribby here. 50 pitches and counting. Walked. Jason Daniels. Base is loaded now. Double play in effect here, so you don't want anything too easy. Ball inside. And David Hazard swings and strikes out there. That, that should have been a ball there. David should have let that one go. Jaden Simmons, though, looks at ball one, one, two, or one, one, and Jaden Simmons sends one for a ride, and that could have been deadly there, but that's going to cross two. Does the surge have a lead? 
Asher Cabrera now. Looks at two balls, no strikes. Asher Cabrera gets a hold of one just underneath it. And that's going to end the inning there for the search. Now Jay Jackson, he's had trouble hanging on to leads. So this is very, very slim here. It's only the third inning out of the seven that we have here set in the franchise. But there is a shot. And like I said, JJ just has a rough time there. As it's going to be a solo shot for Walter. Popped up. Carson Pittman. Can't corral that as that gets to the seats. Fouled off again. Change up real low here. And they make money off of it. As Jordan tried to dive just to try and stop it from getting to the wall. And that's going to be a double. No outs here. Jason Daniels getting the sure out at first. He always gets that inside fastball. That's deadly there. Low change up slider trying to get him. Can't do it. Fastball straight ahead and that's fouled off. Let's see if we can get him off of a low change up here. Still can. He's still fighting. JJ. Trying everything he's got here. Ooh, ball inside. Ball three now. Got to be careful. And walked. But now JJ's got that double play in effect now. That This could be good here. This could be real good. Not able to get anybody. JJ gives up the leading runner. And that's smoked right to Jordan. And that's going to allow a runner to go to third. And that's a bad pitch there. Three run shot. Six to two. The torpedoes. are crushing the surge right now. JJ just... Absolutely... Just falling apart here. Terrible, terrible inning. And the torpedoes find themselves... in a great spot here to take game three. And also the lead in the series. Santos, though, sends one deep, but that's just deep into this ballpark. That's all that is. And Luna lines out to Turner. The Surge have had next to nothing, pretty much. In terms of offense, JJ. Luckily, he's got Jordan back there with the way that he's been playing. JJ there gets two quick outs. Now, normally, I would have taken him out of the game by now, but... You never know. See, that was a decent inning from JJ, but a good, one good inning ain't going to really help you get back in the game. Not when your offense is performing like this. Nothing getting past the infield here, and when they do, it's just line outs or long, well hit balls that end up turning into. 
Just routine plays. Full count now. Jason still alive and swung right through for strike three, and that's the way it's been. Pretty much all game, and that's going to end the day for JJ. Just a not-so-good game for JJ. Marley McAllister coming in to relieve him. And she's been doing all right. Not, not too bad, but, you know, would like to see that ERA go down a little bit, of course. But uh, Michael Wade's been consistent in relief. And that's going to be another run that crosses there. 7-2. to two. It's just been an abysmal day for the surge offensively and defensively they just can't seem to get anything moving and JJ once again just blunders and he's a very very young guy you know he's he's the guy that was introduced in this franchise and you know, among our free agent pool, and it's just hasn't boiled over well, you know? Marley McAllister with some great relief work there. But the Surge are going to have to have some type of miracle here if they want to come back in this. I mean, I've, I've seen them come back from big deficits like this, but with the way the Torpedoes have been playing this entire game, you know, unless you wish upon a star, you know, I don't think you're coming back from a deficit like this. It just looks like they've been outplayed, and again, that's been characteristic all day, just... Line outs after line outs. And there we go. We finally get something. We've gotten people on base. It's just not necessarily generating to runs. And, you know, that that's the biggest... Achilles heel right now is you have people that can get on base but not enough are getting on base you know to get runs they're not getting hits to get runs they're not generating offense and that puts a lot of pressure on your bullpen and you know your pitching staff because then they have to pull you know out the big guns you know you need to have a great starter able to make you know great decisions and pitching wise and again that's going to be double play and that's just really really sad right now just the uh, overall effort of this team here in this game but you still got game four as Asher Cabrera gets there just in time. That speed right there. Able to help the surge out a bit. And Marley having trouble finding the zone here. Getting fouls there. That's that's good. That's good there. Pop up. We'll take one of those. Jaden Simmons should be able to corral that back there. And, you know, you could win with two to three runs a game, but if you have 
you know, pitching that's like this where nothing's really happening. Or, or nothing is really going well for you and you're just allowing a lot of these runs. You're forcing your offense to have to come from behind and, and that's just in any sport, let alone especially baseball. You know, you, it's baseball. You know, you're, you're not going to have those high scoring games like football scores too often. So, you know, you either have an okay day a really, really bad day, or a really, really good day. And you're kind of a toss-up but with all three of those. And that's a line right down the line there. And that's going to be a double, and that's something good coming out of this, I guess. Carson Pittman trying to get something rolling. Olivia Lee with 16 ERAs. She hasn't done well this season either in relief. And Carson Pittman will take that nice little stroll. You have Myra Dodson. Now it looks like the... Torpedoes are going through their bullpen, so maybe next game the surge will be in a better position. You know, having some of their best pitchers gone is Jordan. We'll get a walk there, and now bases are loaded. This is a chance for Jason Daniels to do some real damage here. If he can get something to hit if they give him something to hit that is and they won't they'll walk him and that'll score a run just from a walk David Hazard Look at it, two strikes now. Got a swing. And that should be a routine play. Not going to test anybody there with that cannon arm. Jaden Simmons. That's going to be routine. Lined out. And that's the way it's been all day for the surge here. As they lose this one, 7-3. to three, A big, big blunder for the surge. But can they come back? In the next game, we'll find out. Welcome, everybody, back to the channel. We are in game two, or game four, I should say, excuse me, of the Surge franchise. In the conference finals, as Luna starts this one off, as the Torpedoes had won a big one against the Surge. It and now they risk elimination. Two games in one episode. So I decided to combine these two because why not? Just have one video and you guys will get to watch both. Uh, both games in one video instead of doing two separate ones. So if the surge uh, get eliminated here. Obviously, we'll do the off season. Um, I don't know if we'll stream it, or and then uh, you know edit it down uh, or what. I haven't decided what we'll do yet, but I know we'll do the off season. Uh, if that's something that you guys are interested in, as Jason Daniels gets a walk here. And oh, look at this. High flyer. And that's going to end it there. Wyatt Evans. He was one of the new guys in our free agent pool. Liam Swift here gets the start. Now, he didn't start off too well when he was 
on our team. We let him go, and then we brought him back on a cheaper deal. As Santos, can he get there? Yeah, that's a almost what was a blooper dropped in. That's grounded. Oh, couldn't make it. Too much of a momentum on that one. I'm. I wasn't sure if. I think that was Asher that tried to do that there. Wasn't sure, or Jason Daniels tried to. And look at this double play for Liam Swift. A much better start than uh, JJ had last game. And look at that. I believe that's Carson Pittman on there. Is Asher Cabrera looks at high by high ball two. They don't have a good pitcher back there, so Asher Cabrera takes a strike two, and we got a stolen base there. We got a lot of speedsters on this team. Whoa! Horrible throw there. That could force it to third, and it does. Look at that. A mistake there. Huge mistake, and that'll force a walk there. Ash Cabrera done a really good job there. Hunter King in the lineup here tonight for the first time. Look at this. Asher Cabrera getting there. And now the infield is in now with Hunter King. Hunter King pops one up. This might be good enough for a tag. This might be deep enough there. Wyatt Evans get Corral on that one. And that's going to score one. As Luis Santos done a really good job in the playoffs. He came in as... Like a random walk-on that we had. And he just... Took off. And blooped in there. Just a lazy grounder. Oh, that was almost... A bad throw there. Santos could have gotten there. And Luna... This might be long enough to go. And almost... That was close. Very close. Well, that's down. That would have made this game 3 nothing. Strike. Liam Swift, though. Bottom of the second. Three balls. One strike. Got to be careful. Strike. Full count now. Up there inside. Fastball up there inside. And we're going to go fork ball down here. Grounded right down the line, and that's as beautiful as you can get there if you're a hitter. That's a strike and a half, my friend. And look at that. Another easy grounder there for the torpedoes as they get two on now. First and second. Liam Swift got to be a little careful. He'll probably look for a grounder. Something that you could double somebody up into. We're going to try low fastball here and see if we can get a grounder. No, we'll take a strikeout, though. We'll take that. Liam Swift will take that. Low ball one there. Right in the dirt. Ball high there, two-seamer. Got back in the strike count. Followed that slider off. High fast, high fast ball followed off. Fork ball down. Grounded again, right on the line. Asher Cabrera trying to make the throw home and can't. Liam Swift gives up that. Still need a double play here. 
Good strike there. Mo fast. Strike out. We'll take it. Would have loved the double play to get out of the inning to minimize the pitch count, but Liam Swift will take anything good. Two seamer. Slider. Popped. Swift. Should have that one, and yes, he will. Carson Pittman, the hitman. Right here, 500 average, three homers, seven RBIs, and the hitman strikes again. Look at that, a beautiful solo shot here in game four. And the surge now lead 2-1 with a 460-footer. And Jordan going to come right in right there. In the batter's box, looking at two balls, no strikes. Followed that one off. Tip off of the bat. And that one smoked right up the middle with Wyatt Evans to corral that. Now Jason Daniels has had a decent average. Three RBIs, no homers, though. Oh, and Jordan looked to take off, and I think I took off too late there. I took off way too late there. That's my bad. Jason Daniels getting a bunch of walks, which means you're getting that pitch count up. Max Ramirez there getting corralled into a double play, unfortunately. The bad steal by me, that that's my fault there. But Liam Swift looking to have a better inning than he did last inning with the amount of pitches, and there is a strikeout for him. He's looking real nice now. Popped up. Who's going to get it? Who's going to call for it? Luna's going to just go over. I think that was Santos that was there. Followed that one off. Swift. Getting another one to follow off. Fork ball. That was way in the zone there. Got to be careful. That wasn't where I wanted to place it. Swift going to try for a nasty little slider and can't get the strike that he wanted, but he got the strike out of that one. As Turner strikes out, Angelina Turner is gone. Jaden Simmons. Swings through for strike one, one, one. That's a strike and a half, my friend. Got the zone there with strike two and ball two there. Low. Jaden Simmons grounded. And that's what you want. You want those easy grounders if you're a pitcher. It's easy double plays, easy outs, you know, unless somebody just smokes a ground ball, which we've seen that as Asher Cabrera. Gets grounded. Hunter King, another grounder. Easy inning for the Torpedoes here. Torpedoes keeping it, keeping them honest, keeping it close. That home run, that solo shot being the difference from the hitman Carson Pittman. And Asher Cabrera. Oh, that could have... That could have been a solo shot within itself. Liam Swift got away with one there. And... That's a two-run shot. Liam Swift got away with what could have been a solo shot and gave up a two-run shot on the next set back. Now the Surge find themselves behind now. That's not his fault, though. I, I shouldn't have thrown that. I knew that was a bad pitch when I when I let it go. But Liam Swift gets the strike out there for the first out of this inning. 
Trying to limit the damage here as much as he can. Gets a nice little grounder. That should help his confidence. And that one was right in the breadbasket. Asher Cabrera sliding and the catch. What a catch there from Asher. And I don't think if, if he didn't slide, that would have gone down. Luis Santos smoked right to Anderson. Top of the order once again, Luna. Almost had one leave earlier. 54 pitches and counting. And look at that. A nice base hit there for Luna. Now do we test Luna's speed? Not today, I don't think Carson Pittman is going to get that base hit. He he's had, he had the difference maker that uh, gave the surge the lead with that solo shot earlier. Jordan being patient. She can't be too picky, though. Her production has kind of slowed down a bit. But she gets on base, and she's vital to this team still. As the baller gets on base, base is loaded now for Jason Daniels. This could be pretty, and look at this. Jason Daniels able to tie it up with a good base hit there. Can the surge add more? Max Ramirez, he gets a base hit, and that adds another. Can this go even further? Jaden Simmons. I think they switched pitchers now. Dodson's in. Oh! Hit by pitch. And that's going to score one. Five to three, and look at this. A complete turnaround. And remember... Wow! The Torpedoes are absolutely letting go of this game. 380 feet, a grand slam. Hunter King crushes one, 10-3. Wow! Only a game ago. It was the surge getting absolutely massacred. And now the surge facing elimination. They just turned it on. And Carson Pittman has his second homer of the day. That's two run shot. 415 feet, the hitman adds more. Now we're getting somewhere. Look at this. This is the surge I know. 10 runs in a single frame. And Liam Swift gives up another homer there to Wyatt Evans. Don't tell me we're going to start blundering this lead now. Hunter King. Gets the first out. Liam Swift, though. He's had some issues, but 
like I said, when you have an offense that turns itself on and doesn't know how to turn itself off, and look at that, another solo shot. Walter gets one in, and I think Liam Swift needs a little bit of a breather here. I think Michael Wade's going to come in. And just like that, Michael Wade... Gets the out there, a much needed one after the two homers given up. And Michael Wade ends that inning. And the worst part of all this for the Torpedoes is they've used a lot of their bullpen. So they really don't have anyone left if this were to go to a game five. Which is very possibly could go all go all the way to a game five. And it's looking like it will. Barring a miracle for the torpedoes. Max Ramirez lets that one go. That was a juicy one right there. And that's an out there for Max Ramirez. Jaden Simmons. Grounded, doubled up. But Jaden Simmons is a great catcher back there. He's got a great arm, which is why he is in the game. You know, Chloe Adams, you know, she's hit a couple of special ones there as Michael Wade adds another strikeout to his totals. But the... But the surge have absolutely... Turn it on here is Michael Wade. Another strikeout. Slider. That should be a routine play if Luna can get it there, and she can. Michael Wade done a great job in relief work. Greg Blair, the closer, comes in. After a horrible day. For the Torpedoes. They could have eliminated the Surge here. But the Surge have come back. That's a strike. And like I said, the worst part is, is next game, they're not really going to have anyone. Their bullpen is going to be all used up. Carson Pittman, there's there's the man of the hour. The man that's been absolutely killing it today. Hunter King had turned the lights on and, and just busted this game wide open with a grand slam earlier. And I think they're scared of the hitman now. And he 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 just gets a nice little floater out there. For the torpedoes, Michael Wade. One one's weekly hit Cabrera tried to slide down. He possibly wasn't gonna get near that. Gonna give up a triple as a result. But Michael Wade's done an exceptional job here for some relief work for these past couple of innings. Asher Cabrera, they're targeting him today. And Asher throws this one home. Can't get it. Six to 12. But another football scoring game here, but this time the surge 
are the ones with the more powerful offense. Look at this. These pop-ups. As Michael Wade will end this game as the Surge will live to fight another day. Can they go on? We'll find out in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.